Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. The federal government is averting a shutdown again, but without the votes of all of Wisconsin's U.S. House Republicans. They voted against the stopgap bill yesterday that both houses approved. The measure avoids a shutdown tomorrow. Representative Scott Fitzgerald tells the Journal Sentinel he's concerned about border security policy. More people than ever have a job in Wisconsin. State officials are out with their final numbers for December. Department of Workforce Development Chief Economist Dennis Winter. If you add jobs and pay people, they'll consume more. Uh, and consumption drives the U.S. economy. Uh, so that feed loop, uh, positive feedback loop keeps circling on itself. Uh, we're going to continue to see economic gains and workforce gains. Wisconsin added more than 2,200 jobs in December. The jobless rate in Wisconsin is a near-record low 3.3%. Reproductive rights will be the topic when Vice President Kamala Harris visits Big Bend on Monday. That's according to a release put out by the White House Thursday. Her remarks come on the 51st anniversary of the Roe v. Wade Supreme Court ruling that legalized abortion. Wisconsin is closer to expanding the definition of an illegal strip search after the Assembly gave final legislative approval to a bill yesterday. The measure was put in motion after a community uproar in Soaring two years ago. A school official there made six teenage girls strip to their underwear, which for now is not against state law. Parents could pull their kids out of discussions about gender identity or racism in school under a Republican bill that passed the Wisconsin Assembly yesterday. Republicans like Representative John Mako say parents know what's best for their kids. Parents that want to simply know what the schools are doing because the schools somehow are supposed to know better than they are. Democrats like Representative Melissa Ratcliffe say there's more to it than that. This bill will inflict psychological harm on LGBTQ students and is another savo in a culture war that tries to turn fear and misunderstanding into political talking points. The bill is likely headed to a veto. Wisconsin Assembly Republicans are divided over impeaching elections administrator Megan Wolf. Scott Allen is calling on Speaker Pro Tem Kevin Peterson to resign for allegedly blocking Janelle Branchin's resolution. Majority Leader Tyler August. If she has the support to move the resolution forward, she can do so. But the fact is, she doesn't. Our caucus is focused on real things not grifting and not making a big show for the cameras, and that's all she's interested in doing. Donald Trump supporters in Wisconsin have been trying to get Wolf fired since 2020. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Now here's what you need to know closer to home. For WFHR and WIRI News, I'm Melissa Kay. If you have ready-to-eat charcuterie meat products in your fridge, you'll want to check the brand. The U.S. Department of Agriculture's Food and Safety Inspection Service is issuing a public health alert due to concerns about salmonella illnesses. The product names are Busito brand charcuterie sampler and Fratelli Beretta brand antipasto gran beretta. These were sold at Sam's Club and Costco. Both products come as a twin pack with two trays of meat. There have been 47 illnesses and 10 hospitalizations across 22 states, including two people in Wisconsin. If you have these products in your refrigerator, you should throw them away or return them to the place of purchase. The 2026 Wisconsin Farm Technology Days location has been announced. The 72nd Wisconsin Farm Technology Days will be held at Reddit's No Joke Dairy in Stratford, Wisconsin. The dates are July 14th through 16th in 2026. The Wisconsin Department of Health Services is recommending all children ages 5 and under receive a blood lead level test to test for lead poisoning. Every year, thousands of children in Wisconsin are poisoned by exposure to lead in their environment. This can cause irreversible damage to a child's developing brain, affecting their learning, behavior, and future potential. Early detection will allow parents and health care providers to prevent the devastating consequences of lead poisoning. With early intervention, long-term effects can be minimized and ensure children reach their full potential. The Wood County Housing Task Force is holding a housing summit at Mid-State Technical College in Wisconsin Rapids. It will be held on the campus on March 7th from 9.30 to 3.30. Everyone is invited to begin countywide discussions and create a plan for action to find solutions to the affordable housing crisis. Local legislators are invited to give an update and be asked questions. You still have time to apply for crop insurance premium rebates for planting cover crops. 
Producers have until January 31st to fill out the rebate application online at the DATCP's website or until the program funding is exhausted. Eligible participants will receive a $5 per acre rebate on their summer 2024 crop insurance premiums for acres that were planted with cover crops in 2023, then planted with an insurable crop in 2024. These funds are awarded on a first-come, first-served basis. If you receive state or federal cost-sharing to plant cover crops in 2023, you will not be eligible for this year's program. You can lace up your skates and head out to the Wenzel Family Plaza or Pickle Pond Park in the city of Marshfield. All ice rinks are operational and ready for skaters. The warming house at Pickle Pond will be open Fridays from 4 to 8 and on the weekends from noon to 5. People living in the town of Grand Rapids will have a change to their garbage and recycling pickup starting February 5th. The town is moving to a four-day service week with 96-gallon carts. They'll be delivering a new 96-gallon trash cart with a green or gray lid and 96-gallon recycling cart with a yellow or blue lid. These new carts will be delivered to each residence beginning January 29th. The new pickup dates will begin the following week. You can see the new collection map on the town's website at grandrapidswi.gov. The DNR is partnering with Mothers Against Drunk Driving, or MAD, to promote a safe snowmobile season this year. They're recommending snowmobile riders of all ages take a snowmobile safety course, don't outride their abilities, and perhaps most importantly, don't drink and ride. You should also dress for safety and survival and never ride alone. And that's what you need to know. I'm Melissa Kay, WFHR and WIRI News. Mostly cloudy today with a few off and on flurries or snow showers possible this afternoon. We'll get to, it's going to be cold. We'll get to 10 for a high today. The wind chill factor, single digits to teens below zero most of the day. Tonight, partly cloudy, six below. Tomorrow, sunshine with a high of 12. Tired of the cold. We're going to warm it up. 30s most of next week. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Outside now, it's two below zero. Bucks in the Motor City. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with sports. After losing by 40 points to Cleveland, the Bucks head to Detroit to take on the last place Pistons. At 28 and 13, Milwaukee remains four games behind the Celtics for first place in the Eastern Conference. Damian Lillard on the Bucks' 40 point loss in Cleveland Wednesday night. It seemed like we came out in a management type mode. You know, we came out a little bit slow. And um, knowing that they're a fast paced team, they play even faster at home. They play better at home and just they got right to it. The Pistons have only four wins. Wins. They're four and thirty-seven. Their historic twenty-eight game losing streak ended at the end of December. Men's college basketball, the eleventh ranked Wisconsin Badgers host the Indiana Hoosiers at the Kohl Center. Wisconsin remains at the top of the Big Ten with a record of thirteen and four, five and one in the conference after losing to Penn State head coach Greg Gard. We've grown a lot. We took on the schedule we did because we had an experienced team that we felt not only could handle it but needed to be challenged. College football, the Badgers assistant defensive coach and top recruiter Colin Hitch leaving Wisconsin. He's been hired by Alabama's new head coach, Kalen DeBoer, to join the Crimson Tide. NFL, Packers, and 49ers Saturday night in the playoffs. How much can momentum help the Packers this weekend? Jordan Love. It's huge. You know, I think coming to the postseason, that's been been huge for us. Kind of got rolling with those uh, three wins back to back to back. So, you know, it's, it's huge for us right now, just having that momentum. 49ers veteran Fred Warner on how Jordan Love compares to Aaron Rodgers. I'll just speak to, to Jordan Love and the way that he's playing right now is really great. The things that you see showing up, obviously learn under Aaron, the, some of the mannerisms and the, the way that he's operating. He's making making the throws, making smart decisions, which is what you want. That's 49ers linebacker Fred Warner with Sports. I'm Mike Clemens.